Hello, welcome to Microlocity. Today was yard sale day. So this morning I took my kids and we went out to, I think maybe about five or six garage sales. And there wasn't too much out there, but I did find this uh, bag of mixed cars for five bucks. And just wanna go through them real quick. There's a bunch in here that are just uh, toys for my kids to play with, but there's a couple neat uh, Hot Wheel type stuff in here. There's even a um, Hot Wheel still on the card. So I just kind of go through. So that is just a uh, Monster Jam Hot Wheel truck. Something my kids can play with outside. And they had a random trailer. Not sure what that goes to. They had this cool semi trailer. There's not a, um, the rig's not with it, but it's kind of neat. It says, uh, oh, Ken, Ken Toys. So never heard of that. I thought that was a pretty cool trailer. Um, here's the Hot Wheel that's still on the card. The Mercedes-Benz Unimog. And let's see what else we got. There's just a semi-truck transformer. Here's a Matchbox Blazer. Kind of rough shape, but these are pretty cool casting. Here's a Studebaker. It's a nice play with version. Uh, so then another little kid's toy. This one's actually pretty cool. This uh, I think is a McDonald's toy. Yeah, 2015. Made from McDonald's. Yeah, so these are the ones that pull backs. Okay, here is a, it's a Hot Wheel semi truck. You got the back that pops open. Yeah, we got a lot in this bag for five dollars. It's a pretty cool Hot Wheel with the graphics. I love that yellow color. Metaflake. Looks like I got a couple of speakers in there. I forget this is a tuner. I forget this is called. A seared tuner. So that's a, you can see A50, so I believe this would be a 2008, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's when they started the, the letter and number, uh, serial number thing. So this one I believe is from the Heat Fleet series. Just going off my memory here. That one's pretty decent shape. Now this one I didn't know really anything about. It says 50 on it. So would that have come out a few years ago? For the 50 anniversary? Kind of looks like a Star Wars type. Thing. I'm not really sure what that is. Here's a Matchbox helicopter. I always like these trucks. I have a, an older casting of this. 
So yeah, that casting goes back to 1990, and I didn't know it went back that far. That one's pretty nice shape. I think it had a snow plow on the front. That one's probably missing. Uh, I got some more kids' toys. Let's see what else. More kids' toys. Looks like I got some spider webs in there. Spider eggs. Um, this one actually, it's kind of a cheap cheapo toy, but uh, I kind of like the graphics on it. Area 51. <clears throat> this one's pretty decent. Got a little bit of damage on it. The Chevelle. 64 Chevelle SS. Thing's pretty cool. Got the, like the rear end of a like a '57 Chevy Boss Haas cycles. I'm not sure I have that one in my collection. If I do. I do not recall. Let's see here, I got some a uh, little bit of bent axle on the front. So this is an all-plastic casting. I have a few of these that are um, in the pack. I don't think I've opened any of these before. And I, I would think the newer ones, or the older ones, would be all metal. I, I'm trying, trying to remember, but I'm pretty sure this came out, like, first edition. It was probably the late 90s. I'll probably tell you on there, I guess. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't see a casting. A casting date. Here's a crazy looking. Got some fish monster. With some headphones on. Viacom Playmates. Actually, kind of cool looking. So here's a Hot Wheel stock car. Here's an older Matchbox, a uh, Firebird. So this needs to uh, clean up a little bit. The wheels don't want to turn that nice but the body's in pretty decent shape so I'll see if I can work on that one this one I really don't understand the graphics on it maybe it's some part of some series that I don't remember Yeah, see how the graphic is kind of colored and then it's not colored. It looks weird on the roof. I guess it's kind of neat, but it's different. Okay. Now here's a casting that I kind of just started getting into. I'm not sure why I like this casting so much. I, mean, I, I know I like a lot of the van castings, but yeah, I picked one up. Let me see. Um, yeah, I don't know where it went. But yeah, I picked up one not that long ago. That was a blue one. It's the bread box. 
So I don't know. I don't know much about that casting, but I'm gonna look into it and see how many different variations they made because it's kind of a neat casting. Okay, here's another Hot Wheel. What's Muscle Tone? Almost didn't recognize it. I'm not even sure what the graphics are on that. What's that supposed to be? I'm sure it's part of some series. Here we got the shark. I actually really like the colors on this one. This is another fun casting to collect. I mean, it's been around for so long. So many different variations of it. There's a Lamborghini Aventador. Pretty cool looking. And let's see what else is interesting in here. Um, here is a Hot Wheel from McDonald's from 2015. That's a, a pullback one. I'm going to do a video on all my McDonald's stuff. I have a, I don't have every one like from when I was a kid, but I do have a lot of the, all the years. I have a couple of the uh, McDonald's, um, the like Happy Meal boxes. So I wonder when McDonald's is going to do their Hot Wheel stuff. I don't, I don't remember them doing it last year. Maybe they did. I just kind of missed it, but I kind of lost interest. They started doing like this type of stuff. It's all plastic and I mean they used to actually give you a Hot Wheel that was metal. So here's a John Deere tractor from Ertl. Pretty nice realistic tractor. And I think it's about it that you'd probably be interested in. Matchbox helicopter. Helicopter. Just making sure I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> it's getting late. Um, Ducky Crossing. Which way is the swamp? Must be to the left. So yeah, that was a fun bag for five bucks. Pull back airplane. Uh, yeah, just a couple of little pieces in there. This thing is actually kind of cool. This is one of the ones where the faster you push it, the wheel just keeps spinning faster and faster. All right, so yeah, five bucks ain't bad. There's nothing really collector value, but um, a couple of these I'll probably put in my collection and then the rest the kids can play with. So all right, um, thank you for watching and see you next time.